Hi, um, my name's Steve. Just wanted to say a few words about Chris and the Gym Academy. Um, yeah, brief background. I uh, met Chris probably 10, 13 years. I, I'd be lying if I said the exact date, but um, well over 10 years, let's say. Uh, and at that stage, um, I was probably ending or getting to the end of my football career, if you want to call it that, um, which was my love. And I realised that there wasn't many days left of playing football um, and I needed something else to keep me fit. Um, and at that stage, I started joining uh, Fitness First um, and was doing what everyone does, the usual things within the gym. Um, someone, uh, some trainer ended up, um, if you like, working with me, but it never really worked. One, um, I just, uh, it wasn't my cup of tea, but two, I, I, without seeming harsh, I just didn't, I looked at him um, physically and everything. I just couldn't see that he was in any sort of shape of uh, to sort of justify giving advice. Now that may seem, sound strange, but it just, to me, didn't make sense that someone was telling me what to do and eat and everything. Um, quite honestly, he looked in worse shape than myself. So um, I wasn't wowed by by him in that respect. And um, someone within Fitness First uh, who, who worked in the gym recommended Chris, which straight away I liked that there was uh, his peers, if you like, that um, in amongst his peers that he was highly thought, well thought of. And um, I liked that. Not only that, I'd seen Chris... Um, around the uh, gym um, and basically I just always thought he acted professionally he always looked like he knew what he was doing so um, I ended up working with Chris um, I didn't have any doubts about working with Chris at all it was just a case of um, he, he looked the part um, if you like talk the talk walk the wall and um, quite honestly I liked uh, everything that he was recommending and suggesting. And I liked the way that he also had similar likes to me, he liked his football. But he also, what I loved as well, that he also felt that you should work hard, play hard. And he still said that there was time at the weekends where you had to let loose, enjoy yourself and everything. It wasn't always, eat this, you can only do that, you can only do that. And I just loved the way he suggested that you live your life. Um, so literally we started working um, as a team and, and every week I've seen him since, um, where I would say we're more, well, we're definitely friends rather than uh, he's my trainer. Um, and obviously I've seen him grow over the years um, and he's had obst obstacles and um, always move forward. Um, actually one of life's positive people, especially what's going on in the world. thing about Chris, which um, stands out for me, um, he just saw it as an opportunity uh, recently um, with what went on. And uh, But he's always been like that. He's just adapted and he will uh, always see that you need to learn um, to constantly move forward or other, if you just stand still, you're actually going to move backwards. Um, so, yeah, seen it and develop. But what I found um, first and foremost was it wasn't all about the training. It was more about the knowledge that I learn um, on the food side of it, um, which I never knew in respect of the protein, carbs and everything else, calories and what have you. And uh, the knowledge that I got from that um, completely changed the way I think my body shape was in respect of um, it was 80% all about the eating and 20% working hard in the gym and what have you. Um, Chris has had obstacles with me. I'm like the walking wounded. I've got pins in one knee and I've got, uh, I've had three disc operations and I'm, I'm due to have a hip operation soon. But um, I think the thing that Chris wouldn't have, um, I think when I was about 37, I said, look, I'm going to be 40 in a few years time. I'll, I'll never have the body I had. And he said, that's just a number. He just wouldn't accept that, uh, that 40 would be an issue for me. Um, to the point now where I'm turned 50 last year and uh, he pushed me and I'd I done a photo shoot with him recently, first photo shoot ever. <laughs> and um, probably in better shape than I was at 40. So uh, he was right, he, um, he was dead right on that. Um, ha has it exceeded my expectations with Chris? Definitely. Um, if you, when I was young and I pictured a 50 year old man, wasn't how I, I see a lot of the 50 year olds nowadays. I think people are much more aware of it. But I do think um, I'm lucky because I'm in an industry where my job is, if you like, um, to make sure that people and families and everything have got money in the event of horrible things happening, whether it's critically ill or, or death. And, um, and I see the value of um, making people, if I can, invest in that. So to invest in myself by working with Chris, I just saw it as a no-brainer. Um, people will pay money to... A, for Sky, but to, to me, it's a no-brainer to pay money and work on your yourself and keep yourself healthy. Um, so, just just been a yeah, just been brilliant for the last however many years. And if I was to rec 
recommend anyone. It would always be to Chris because Chris is Chris is always open. But Chris is Chris is. Uh, I suppose what he would say is they'd want they've got to want it. It's no me pushing people to go and see Chris. He'd want people to want it. Um, that's half the battle. Um, so yeah, I think. I think he's moving in the right direction. Um, he's, he's, he's the, the gym academy is a success. Um, he's got a love for golf, which um, he's able to help golfers with his knowledge and also uh, the routines you can do to help you make, be more flexible, be stronger, and what have you. Um, so yeah, um, just it's just been a good ride. Um, I do hope there's um, many more years. Maybe at sixty, I'll say what I just said a moment ago about being fifty. Um, but yeah. Um, nothing but praise, uh, fantastic lad, um, and fantastic company. Uh, thanks very much.